cultures, I will purport to talk about the alleged beheading by ISIS. Is it even by ISIS's murderous standards, a new video the militants have just released is indeed horrific. It is a video that purports to show the beheadings, purports to show the beheadings, purports to show the purports, 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 pur
going to behead people, okay? Not all, not all people who follow Islam are going to do that. But these particular ones are really actually chopping people's heads off. It's really actually happening. But now, because of all the alternative people who love to get up there and say, oh, it didn't really happen. This was an actor. These people already lost their limbs before the bombing happened. And oh, it was a blue screen. And this is CGI. <sighs> You poor folks, you poor souls. The mainstream media is now copying you. Go to news. Okay, I went to Google News, right? I went to I went to Google.com and I just typed in news. Okay. News. And two headlines. Here's the headline of NBCnews.com. ISIS releases video purportedly showing beheading of 21 Egyptian Christians purportedly. Now, if you click on this, they're not going to actually show you the actual video. Okay. Which irritates me, right? Really irritates me. Okay. And I'm not going to let it sit there and run right now. NBC News says that it's purportedly happening. Then scroll down. Okay. Scrolling down to... Fox News, okay, click on Fox News, and the headline is Christian Massacre, ISIS video purportedly shows mass beheading. How is it that NBC and Fox both actually used the word purportedly? It's like, it's like a coincidence, right? No, I don't think so. I think it's a conspiracy and conspiracies are real too. Why? Because maybe they get their, their approval from somewhere else above them. And I think that really happens. Bad things really happen. What does purportedly mean? By the way, it means allegedly. And this is all coming right after the president basically defends, you know, ISIS and compares them to the Christian Crusaders, which was a long time ago. And some people say the Crusaders were responding to um, Muslim violence. And some people say that it was unnecessary violence. I wasn't there. I think there's unnecessary violence going on in both directions, I'm sure. But today, this is some crazy barbarians, okay? actually beheading people and the mainstream media is so freaking desperate for viewership okay that they're taking an example from people who think that the plane setting the towers was cgi Knowing that they do the actual CGI sometimes on other things to pretend like they're braver than they actually are. Like, imagine I'm CGI and like on the beach right now. Woo, I'm cooler than I actually am. Yeah, they do that. Okay. Um, oh, and also on Google Plus, it's also on Google Plus, it says um, allegedly on Google Plus. Where is it? Was it Google News? Whatever. Just go look around. This is their this is their word. This is their hashtag purportedly. Purports. Allegedly. And I'm gonna tell you this, guys. It's freaking real. Okay? So go ahead, do whatever you want to do. But let me know what you think. Seriously. If you think that I am betraying alternative media by saying that these actual bad things really actually happen, then forgive me. Put your comment below. I'll try to bring you around on this, okay? But I do think that planes actually hit the towers. Was there controlled demolition involved? I think so too. But I think it actually happened and people actually died. Was there an actual Boston bombing? Yeah, pretty sure. Did people actually lose their limbs? Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. And for you to pretend like it didn't happen is pretty messed up for those people and their families. And guess what? 
Now the mainstream media is doing it. Face palm. Okay, guys. So I'm going to try to do a video a day. Put your comment below on what you want me to do my next video on while the baby's sleeping. And no, I'm not going to wear makeup. And if you just can't deal with it, fine. And I have a crooked nose. Um, and by the way, I might get it fixed. So because I have a deviated septum. I got hit in the face with a volleyball when I was 19 and I was tripping on acid and I was on this camping trip with people at my art school. And I just stood there and the ball just poof. And I just never went and got it fixed. And over the years, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse until now it looks like I'm deformed and I am deformed. And so um, my insurance might actually pay for it. I don't know, we'll see. If they don't pay for it, I'm not going to get it. But I get food in my nose all the time. So when I eat, it goes... <coughs> especially like raw carrots and rice and things. I'm like... <coughs> and my husband finally said to me, you got to go to the ante. And I went to the ante and he was like, you have a deviated septum. But that's not why food's going up your nose. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> But anyway, I have a deviated septum and a collapsed nasal valve. It's just all messed up because I got hit. So my nose went this way. And so the cartilage fell that way. And so this side is, in a, is like collapsed, but it's clearer inside here and blocked here on the inside. And it's like, anyway, so um, I have a messed up nose. So if they make it look prettier in the process, don't judge me. It's not for vanity. It's literally so that I don't choke because when food gets stuck in my nose and I go, <laughs> then it shoots back like a Heimlich maneuver into my trachea. And then I go, uh, <clears throat> and then I like, literally it just goes. And then sometimes it actually shoots back into my nose. <sighs> and that really actually happens. Okay. So I'm not just making that up. Like it's not actually happening right now. I'm dramatizing an actual event. Does that make sense to you? I'm dramatizing something that actually does happen in real life, but I'm dramatizing it in order for you to like see that. Okay. So please comment below what you think I should do my video on next time. And ISIS is freaking real. And you know what I think? Um, there's some articles on EdenCultures.com. Go ahead and check them out. But I think that we should bomb them. And um, as far as the women and children, I think they should get the heck out of there. You know, we'll warn, we'll, we'll warn them ahead of time. I mean, it's like, get out of there. Don't stay with these guys. If you're with these guys, then you're kind of guilty too. And that's what I think. If you think I'm evil and cruel for saying that, comment below. If you think I'm insane for thinking that evil does exist, comment below. Um, but yes, I believe conspiracies are real. So purportedly, someone is setting the tone by telling the mainstream media to allege and not say, okay, so if I have a video where I sit there and I slit someone's throat, then I guess I am a suspected murderer because it's just purported, because it could be CGI. 